Hey YouTube, how's it going? In this video, I'm going to be showing you how to disable or resize your sh shadow copy for Windows. This should work from anything basically Windows 7 to Windows 10. I believe including some of the Windows Server, like 2012. This will work on as well. Now, this is one of those things that is all based on how much you want to allow it to have based on the size of the drive you have. So, if, like, say you're running a one terabyte drive that has ones on it, then maybe you can give it a little bit more. What Shadow Copies is, is basically restore points. It's basically what it is, in a nutshell. Now... You can you can completely say no no don't want it at all. You can do that if you wish. I, I wouldn't personally suggest it, but you can do that if you want. It is your computer now. Keep in mind, I am not liable if you screw up your computer. If you screw up your computer following this tutorial, you're on your own. But if you follow it step for, by step then you shouldn't have any issues. So let's go ahead and snap, our fin uh, snap a finger. We're going to be over to the desktop. Welcome. So like I said in the previous, the intro part to this video, we are going to be adjusting the size of your shadow copy, also known as your restore points. This method will for sure work on anything Windows 7 through 10, any edition. Windows Vista, I believe, is slightly different, which I may or may not show you, just as I have to set up a virtual machine for that, because, to be honest, who really who uses Vista anymore? So, first thing you want to do is right-click on Computer, and just go Properties, and you'll see right here, System Protection, and the tab is right there, so you can go here, click on your drive. I have mine detecting three drives because I have my SSD, I have my two terabyte storage drive, which is D, and then USB 3.0 external drive. You can also, there's different things you can configure, such as like you can clear anything that may be in there out. But this is also where you can adjust the limit of how much it can take and the option again here to disable it is totally up to you usually I just give it 10% opposed to what it was before which is about 20% I usually give it 10% now if you have an SSD you know it may be an option to consider just disabling it if you just don't care yeah you can leave it on because this is always changing this is always writing to the SSD so it's up to you how you want to go with that one if you want to disable it if you don't then that's fine too so what I'm going to do is I'm going to hit apply okay okay now you've just adjusted this size of your sh restore point and again, you hit configure, disable. Uh, right here, it'll ask you, like, are you sure? You can just say yes. But I'm just going to leave mine on because I'm not super, super concerned about it. And that is basically how easy it is to adjust the amount of s storage on your drive that Shadow Copy can take. Now keep in mind, say my OS drive, I was just running a mechanical drive, and say I was running 4 terabyte. you know, that 20% would have been a lot larger than what it was, so keep that in mind too, but then again, if you're running a 4 terabyte, depending on why you're running it, you may not even notice that, but that is basically how you do it. So I hope that video helped you with either adjusting or if you really wanted to disabling your shadow copy on your Windows based machine 
if you like this video, don't forget to hit that like button. If you're not already, hit that subscribe button. And leave a comment in the comment section below. As well as check out the social media links down in the description below. Follow me on Twitter, Instagram, as well as like the Facebook page. And we'll... Well, stay tuned for the next one.